Hi testers, question five that came in from Amber C. Um, she asks, what is an acceptable length of test time? National average is usually around 45 minutes, but what if you're all done after 30 minutes? For example, if you're testing a hybrid or electric which doesn't need the emissions doing. Thanks again, Amber. So to answer Amber's question, there's no real guidance on how fast or slow you have to test. We know what the national average is, and for my part, I largely ignore that. What we should be more interested in is some key things, some key activities that we should be doing. Are we checking our own test logs? Can we prove it? So if you're using MOT juice properly, you should be able to do that. Um, are we comparing our own testing times to other testers at our site? So, you know, if I've got someone who's doing a test in 21 minutes, someone else who's average is 51 minutes, why? You know, all the all the DVSA or the VE is going to be looking at is, is why is this guy 21? Why, why is this guy 51? If we're in a, you know, a, a dealer environment testing brand new stuff that's all low mileage and they're all quite small cars, easy to do, why, you know, possibly the 51 minute guy is too long. Um, <clears throat> I'm also thinking that, that there isn't a problem about testing too fast. I think as a general rule of thumb, if you're slightly over 30 minutes, you're not really raising eyebrows at, at the DVSA, especially for those of you that are full-time testers. You know, all you do is test all day long. The more you do of anything, the better you'll be at it. So for me, if I'm doing a lot of testing, I'll expect to see my own test times certainly sub 30 minutes consistently. I might be getting some tests on little cars, little cars, low mileage, small cars, you know, I'm putting them in the box around 20 minutes. And that does attract attention. You'll see my tester rag shoot up a bit if I do a lot of them. Um, but if I'm doing that, what I'll do is I'll increase the number of QC checks that are being done on me. So we might ramp that up to two or three a month. I'll just get someone to retest a vehicle that I've done so that we're then creating a dossier of QC checks on me, which allows me to test faster, and proves to the DVSA that the quality or the standard of what I'm doing is being upheld. Because the, the, from the DVSA's perspective, if you're doing fast tests, it might raise an eyebrow, but if your test outcomes are different to what they know should be happening with those vehicles. So let's be under no illusion of how much data the DVSA have got. If I take, for an example, a 12-year-old Toyota Corolla, I test it and find nothing, and all day long I'm finding nothing. They already know that 12-year-old Toyota Corollas typically fail on a certain number of things and what those things are. So they can use computers to look at, you know, algorithms to look at my behavior and very quickly flag if I'm doing it right or wrong. So for us on the commercial side of it, what we can do is test as fast as we can because we want to get the test done quicker, get the work done, get more money, um, but we need to be sure that our standard is high and we need to be able to demonstrate to a VE that we're acting responsibly. So I think in answer to Amber's question, if you were down around the 30 minute mark, I don't see a problem with that personally, as long as your standards are good and you can prove it. So I would say get busy doing half hour tests, just up your QCs a little bit and um, then when the VE does turn up, demonstrate that to him. Show, show him how good you are at testing and um, how many QC checks you do. For me, I've done it with a VE who came to our Class 7 bay and I did a 10-year-old Merck Sprinter high mileage one. It took me 21 minutes end to end and uh, the VE went, yeah, fair enough. You didn't miss anything and it was a good test. So, so it, it is okay and you can build that relationship with your VE but just be mindful that you need to protect yourself along the way. That's question five done, see you in question six. The video you're watching is part of the monthly training for our MOT Juice tribe. They would have seen this training video a few months ago. If you want to watch the up-to-date videos, then you need to be in the tribe. And if you want to be in the tribe, then you need to subscribe.